LB, um, actually, LB, you you started this, and and Riz, I do want to go to the question on Facebook as well. Uh, mm -hmm. But but LB, you you were really kind of taken by it's probably not the right word uh, by by Cesaro's match with uh, John Cena. That was the main event of Raw last night. Yeah, it's great, super good, mm -hmm. right? Right. I think we can all agree. Let's start out on a on a positive note. It was super good. Mm -hmm. Super, it was. super good. Yes. All right. Yes. We're all on board. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, You're the one that wanted a discussion, but no. Um, but it's great. I, I no. I yeah, I, yeah. I kind of I started having the discussion about like, you know, this whole thing was you know to maybe change the public opinion of John Cena because, you know, every week he's having these incredible matches with talented wrestlers that people, you know, really like. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's putting other wrestlers over. He's making NXT look really good. Right. I mean, he, he uh, put Kevin Owens over. Um, and I, I feel like that this whole John Cena open U.S. title defense thing is just good for everybody. But you guys it say because for all involved, even even aside from Rusev, he's not just leading to his next title defense with Randy Orton the next month, right? That's, That's what we got yeah. tired of. Yeah. Right. So he is very much mixing it up and mm -hmm. giving serious chances to guys the last few months, and and and, and everybody looks good. Cena looks good. The opponents look good. It's great. Mm -hmm. Everybody's it's happy times. And I think I think we get in this discussion. I was like, yeah, but but Cesaro got pinned clean. You know, it's like. And so it, that's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, there's a certain point where, and, and I saw this discussion happening somewhere else on the internet too, where it's like, you know, when are we going to kind of sink in in this conversation that wins and losses don't matter? Mm. I mean, everybody's saying, well, Brian hasn't won for so many months. It's like, wait, did I just fix it? Oh, well, I don't know White? about that. I, 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 okay. I, I agree completely that wins and losses don't matter in, in that sort of sense. Yeah. Um, I do wish I, I kind of wish that they showed the because um, apparently when the cameras were off the air, Cena had Cesaro back in the ring and and like gave a, a nice speech to kind of like you know sort of like put him over basically. And, yeah. and I would love for them to have shown that you know like, but because go ahead. Go ahead Riz. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, Riz. that's what I was going to say. Go ahead, Riz. But, okay, uh, but but the way you're saying it is, it's never going to be shown anywhere the, the fact is we live in a time now where this is always on whenever their cameras are off mm -hmm. this phone is your camera and this phone captured the Cesaro Cena moment mm -hmm. and you know they're going to try to play off of that now because they know it's already on it's already recorded they know it's on YouTube. They know everybody has it. They know they all, everybody has seen it. So I think if they were smart, they would run off of this and say this is the time when Cesaro becomes a bigger name than you know Vince McMahon thinks he is. And it is it is the first thing you see. Oh wait, I think I got the right one. I might got. No, I got another one actually. <clears throat> Uh, but if you type in the right thing, it's the first thing that came up on the YouTube. But isn't that interesting, too? Uh, you, uh, this is kind of a side talk on here, I think. But you mentioned how everybody has a phone. And, I mean, it was always no video, you know. And I always kind of, like, made sure I didn't have my phone out much, you know, uh, at least doing the video, making sure I'm taking pictures and stuff. But now, after you did uh, the rock thing that looked like it was mostly shot on phones, and he's Instagram videoing himself and all this stuff, you just kind of gave all the fan, fans license to shoot all the stuff at live shows, and 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 you have and they have the license to play that video right for their profit. I, I my point. I, I right. hope that they do. I, I really yeah, do I, I they hope they do, do too. Well, there's a there's uh, a. I, I just uh, feel sorry, like sorry. Before you get that, uh, there uh, I'm looking at YouTube, so I'm seeing that from last night, and there's nine thousand views on there. I don't see any content ID on it. Um, yeah, it is not not yet. Anyways. <laughs> But it is something that, uh, like, WWE, and, and from my little bit with content ID and some issues over the last few months, they would have to find the clip and request a pulled because it's not going to match anything that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. My, so. my, thing is, my thing is, I feel like it just needs to be shown in that mainstream because they will show a side of John Cena that is not necessarily being shown. Mm -hmm. um, because as much as I, I respect him and his ability, and as much as he has been putting on incredible matches as of late, uh, Wherever town they're going to be in next week, they're still going to boo them. 
They right. are, because that's been the case time in and time out. Because yeah, that's the, the internet is such a stubborn place. Yeah, and that's that the norm. That's, that's the people go there. People like as like uh, Lunchbox said are stubborn, <laughs> and they will boo John Cena because that is the cool thing to do. Yeah, but well, how many? I don't many even times? know if it's just the internet. I well, think it's that. a thing that people are sort of taught to do. Well, we, we, like, it's I also think, they're taught.